Hi everyone, Brett McLaren from Kimberley Campus. Just to, here today to take you through some of the uh, unique features of our S-Class Cruiser. It's the middle-sized cruiser that we produce, our biggest single-axle um, caravan. But uh, we just wanted to step through today and show you how um, we've continued the legacy of King of the Off-Road and uh, encompass some of the luxurious features of a, uh, of a caravan into um, getting you out there into some isolated places. So I thought I'd start at the front and work our way back. So to start with, we've got our 300 litre Unipod storage for the front of the unit. And what we've done is we've now fitted all of our electrical componentry into the front box here. So you can see a, a, a dash that accommodates all of our electrical equipment. Um, the DC-DC booster feeding power from the vehicle as you're traveling along. Um, we have our airbag controls, the 12 volt isolator switch, a 2600 watt inverter, um, for DC power, uh, for AC power from your DC batteries. Um, the charger, 60 amp charger in this particular model and our 240 volt um, fuse box. So that puts all of our electrical equipment in a nice tight compartment, um, neatly tucked away, leaving space for storage up here on the front. Um, but the, cons the consolidating all these items together and having our battery, pat battery set set, um, our lithium battery sets nice and close, means that we minimise any voltage losses between the, uh, between the charging and the, um, and the batteries. So, nice compact way of accommodating it all. But what it does mean for us is we've got a bit of space left in the front here. But as opposed to previous models, we now have a completely clear tunnel boot for additional storage. And this is probably one of the key features of the S-Class um, over the E-Class, is that you do gain this tunnel boot storage all the way through for plenty of room for tables, chairs, um, fishing poles, the poles for your awning, um, all those sort of bulky, awkward items all find a home in the, uh, in the tunnel boot. So moving back into our kitchen, our traditional outdoor kitchen set up for a Kimberley camper, obviously um, one of the major features is we're always wanting to bring the outdoor living to the unit. So um, outdoor cooking is an incredibly important part of that. You do have cooking options inside, but um, I would say the majority of our customers are really keen on being out and outside the unit and um, doing all their cooking and food prep. So you've got a full sink system, two burners, a couple of different options on the cooking scenario. You can have a Weber barbecue, a stainless steel uh, marine barbecue, or the two burner that you can see in this, this particular setup. We also have a portable induction cooker um, powered off the inverter for um, easy cooking outside as well. So powered straight from the, uh, from the power point and from the inverter. So plenty of room outside. Um, and then augmenting that obviously is the, um, is the awning, but also our new Bedouin extension that goes onto the front of the awning, giving some extra shade, some extra privacy, um, just augmenting the, the whole outdoor experience, giving you um, a bit of um, comfort when you're sitting out in the afternoon. The other um, key feature that we've now changed is we've, and I'll show you how the inside of these work, but these large format windows um, that we've got in the, the uh, Cruiser series now, um, a key design feature of the whole Cruiser from the very beginning was to be able to enjoy the great outdoors from inside in some luxury. Um, Paramount to that was having a panoramic view from inside the unit. So we wanted to make sure we had plenty of opportunity for the view to be brought in. Um, so you'll notice when we go inside, no floor to ceiling um, uh, cabinetry. It's all down low, giving us the maximum amount of coverage as we possibly can with, with windows. So we'll just head inside, starting down the back with the ensuite. So totally separate toilet and shower compartments, um, plenty of room and access. This particular unit's fitted with an electric flush toilet, uh, but we're finding a real trend towards the composting toilets. Um, good for about four times the amount of uses between um, uh, dump sites, so um, a lot more convenient, gives you, keeps you out off the grid a lot easier uh, for a lot longer. And then um, easy access to the shower, a sliding um, shower door for that, um, and a seat inside for some extra support as well. Um, all running off again the diesel hot water system um, for hot and cold running showers um, and the sink as well. And we've also fitted the, the, uh, the cruiser ensuite with a top loading washing machine. This particular model is 2.6 kilos. Again, coupled to our water, onboard water. So we've got a 120 litre 
general water tank and a 70 litre drinking water tank. Um, operating with a 60 litre grey water tank just allows you to capture all, all of your wastewater and take that away with you. So more and more national parks and campsites are requesting that you are self-contained um, and able to take whatever waste you're generating with you. So you can see our S-Class Cruiser is really taking luxury where it's never been before. I just want to come back for a moment to the windows. So you've got a, quite a bit of variability in the, in the, in the um, locking positions for the windows. So depending on what the weather's like outdoors, plenty of opportunities to get maximised breeze through the, through the unit. It also comes fitted uh, with a midgy mesh screen. So making sure we're keeping the insects at bay. But that also couples to a blockout screen, so giving you the ability to maximise privacy when, when required. So it comes right up to the top or, or you can have it split. So yeah, a really neat solution for making sure that we're really enjoying the outdoors. Um, so to complete the kitchen, we've got plenty of storage, pantry, um, pantry space, pots and pans, um, a cutlery drawer, and then some overhead space as well. Um, three overhead cupboards with plenty of storage space. And then continue on the storage theme is uh, one of the key features of the um, cruiser range now is our chase lounge. So we've modified our Latin seating, which you may have seen in some of the previous videos, just to give us a bit more space on the entry um, and to make it a bit more comfortable for two people to sit at the lounge together. Um, there's storage space underneath the, the chase compartment, some boot space there, and then the opportunity to sit and relax, watch some TV, look at the great outdoors through the, uh, through the large format windows um, and, and enjoy the, the spot. Um, teardrop table, which is um, adjustable. So dinner time and space, plenty of room for dinner plates and serving dinner. And then we can create some space for two people to be sitting on the lounge together um, and still have somewhere to store drinks or eats or whatever it might be. So yeah, so a nice comfortable space, easy access to multimedia, to your, your cooking area and a beautiful vista of the outdoors. So then we're moving into the bedroom area. Um, plenty of storage in the bedroom space. Um, the S-Class again, uh, one of the standout features is it has the, the hanging space next to the bed, um, which is a key differentiator from our E-Class. Um, so hanging space for clothes uh, is available and then you've got um, boot spaces above the, the bed of the head, so both of those um, doors drop down and have some storage space behind them. Books and makeup and those sorts of things at the top and um, pillows, sheets, spare blankets, whatever it might need to be in the, in the middle. Um, also for convenience, we've got um, some USB outlets to be able to charge a phone or an iPad, um, magazine rack and a drink bottle holder right next to the bed. Um, so moving down to the bed, we've also got some storage space underneath the end, so it's just a simple case of lifting the bed, um, boot spaces on each side um, for bulky storage, and then two underbed drawers for plenty of clothes, clothes storage. So yeah, so plenty of storage, probably the, one of the defining features of the S-Class is um, maximising the space available for um, getting storage available to, to you to use for hanging, storing bulky items. Um, so then when you do retire to bed at night, um, we do have the ability to move the TV closer to the end of the bed, mounts at the end of the kitchen here, plugs in, and in a, the connected world that we live in now, we've got Bluetooth connectivity, wireless connectivity for all of the units, uh, all of the items in the multimedia system. So the panel stereo, you can utilise as an app on your phone to uh, Bluetooth control volume and channel and, and, uh, all those, and source. Um, the TV is a smart TV, allowing streaming of Netflix and Stan and those sort of pay-per-view type um, platforms. So nice and flexible, but all connected and easy to use. Um, I guess then from a comfort perspective, you've got, as we talked about earlier, the option to have your windows open, but um, if the so weather's a bit inclement, we do have the new Truma Aventa um, air conditioning system, all supported through a lithium battery power set augmented by up to 600 watts of solar on the roof, all of which allows you to be off grid, out of the way and enjoying the great Australian outback. One final feature to show you this afternoon on the S-Class, um, a bit of an innovation on our VisiFlow system that's been around on Kimberley campus now for a couple of decades, is um, a positive pressure fill for the water tanks. So you're able to connect up to mains water and select which tank you want to fill from this manifold 
Um, it's coupled to our outdoor shower system, so the diesel hot water, but it also allows water to be pulled from a, a stream or a billabong or a dam, um, bypass your tanks and go through the hot water system for using um, your, your uh, hot showers and not using your tank water. So a key feature which again, if you're next to a water source, allows you to be off the grid for that little bit longer. So it's all about getting out there, enjoying the outback, um, doing it in luxury, having your luxury wherever you want to put it. Um, the key feature being around storage, obviously with the tunnel boot and the cupboard spaces around the bed, but obviously bringing all of that luxury with you wherever you want to go. So feel free to get in touch with any of our dealers for any more information that you may need, um, or us at the factory, happy to talk it through. Um, and in the current day and age with Zoom and um, various things we can do, live calls to, um, to show you through the unit in a bit more detail. But I hope you found that informative, given you a bit of a taste of what it's all about, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in Kimberley.